There's more extreme weather in the forecast with Arctic air blasting the northeast, rain and snow in the Midwest, in the west I should say, and in the Midwest, the historic winter flood is rolling on. At least 25 people have been killed there. There's no peace in Olive Branch, Illinois, where we find David Begno tonight. David? Scott, good evening. At least half of the town of Olive Branch, Illinois, is underwater tonight. There are flooded homes like the one behind me for miles in areas that are known to be vulnerable to major flooding. Here's the breach. See how massive it is now? It was in Alexander County, feet. Illinois, the flooding is disastrous and the temperature is near freezing. It's gotten real bad in here. Today, the U.S. Coast Guard flew us over the spot where the 18-mile Lynn Small levee failed about 72 hours ago. This is where the levee breached, sending water from the Mississippi River into a floodplain. At least 100 structures are flooded, 14,000 acres of the county are underwater, and the water is rising. This is the home of Brandon Dillo and Jennifer Corey. They built their levee eight feet high, and tonight, they're dry. They learned a lesson during a flood in 2011. Then the levee was five feet high and water got inside the home. Depressing. It's, uh, it just changes your whole life. Many like them have been asked to evacuate but refused. David Bigham's elderly parents got out, but he and his five siblings stayed behind to save the home that they were raised in. You're worried about everything you got and everything you're going to lose. From the air, you can see that the Bigham home is surrounded by water on three sides. The Biggums have 25,000 sandbags and eight water pumps working to keep the property dry. And so far, the water's holding. Back near the levee breach, we spotted this herd of deer, victims of the unrelenting flood running for an escape. We noticed tonight the water seems to have dropped about an inch in the last six hours, and that is great news for the Bigham family. Friends and family are working around the clock, dead set on saving this house that has been here since 1959. David, Scott, some of this flood water could reach Memphis by Friday. David, thank you very much.